Okay, Fred, all we need is a vision, and you're good to go. I can't hear you, but I'm trying to get my volume up here. here Come on, go. Fred. We want to see, hey, we wanna see we that here beautiful face. Now I need to make sure my camera is on. It's not on here. You're correct. Stop video. No, start video. I want to get video. <laughs> you sound like you're really good looking, Fred. We just we got, that. We got <laughs> well, why don't I get video? Oh, there's your name. Your name popped up. I there. see my name, but I don't see my picture anywhere. Where would the video be? I don't know, but I got an album cover here. I can just hold that up. I think yeah, you. I see that, but I need to get so you can see me. What is happening here? I do have a <laughs> that, camera. That album cover in the self-portrait. Okay, you just take your time there, Fred. We're trying to solve world well, as we speak. I have no idea why I don't have a camera. <laughs> it says it's recording, recording, recording. What's up? Anything else? It says I'm going to go to my browser. That's the mute button for that. Is your camera lens open? I would imagine it is. It's an iPad here. Oh, okay. Should bring me the other one here because I don't have any. I don't have any picture here. Just. <laughs> let me Man. try. Let me, let me. Let me. Now, see, he's a success story. He has more than one iPad, Roy. Oh yeah. Well, I got a. Uh, I got what I got is an iPhone that I saw myself on earlier. <laughs> Let's see. You're, going, you're right. I am a good looking man. Dang. Now, wait a minute. Where is uh, AOL? Here we are. Dennis McNally. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the link. I'm going to the link. Zoom. Join the meeting. All right. You are good. Got it. Please join. No uh, Wi Fi or cellular. So okay, we want to do that one off, right? I had to turn one off, right? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. It looks so, like a snowman. Uh, things are on. Well, I see you. I still don't see me. Bitter. Oh, no, I got a call. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh oh. It's moving into the main screen there. It must be getting close. <laughs> I kind of like the picture of you as a snowman. It looked pretty good. Oh, look at that. There's Fred. We see you, Fred. Uh oh! Can you hear us, Fred? Fred? <laughs> we got to get no sound. We're getting closer. This is stupid. Can you do sign? <laughs> <laughs> Just wave. You're almost there, Fred. Oh, there's a lot of talking going on there, but no sound there, Fred. Yeah, yeah, he's you're still talking, Fred. Oh, Fred's gone. <laughs> oh, come on, Fred. He's working. He's working for it. He's working it. He's working for it. He can figure it out. I mean, he's a platinum level artist. I mean, he can he can easily do Zoom. Oh, he's doing something now. I see his face again. That smiling face of Fred. He's, He's just driving over to your house. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Fred. Come on over. Oh, boy. Fred's trying hard. See? There's Fred right there. Fred. That's a self-portrait. Looks just like him. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Are you there, Fred? I can, but I surely can't hear you worth it very good at all. But if you talk oh. really loudly, maybe I can hear you. Look at that good look. How about now, dog. Fred? All right, I hear you. Okay, there we go. So Man. what's up there? That For every, you people out there that's been uh, under a rock, this is Fred Tackett from <laughs> Little Feet. I mean, this guy has been with everybody. I don't. You must have been a clone to collaborate with all the people you've done. It's it's amazing there, Fred. Well, I just stuck around a long time, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I even went back and looked to see if I had some vinyl of you guys. There it is. Oh, I, my God. I wasn't sure if that was a picture of one of Jeff's old girlfriends or a Little Feet album. 
<laughs> no, that's one of our famous Neon Park albums. He did a whole series of duck paintings. That's supposed to be uh, the Ava Gardner duck or something, I think. <laughs> so how you that been doing there, Fred? That wasn't a self-portrait? <laughs> no, not a self-portrait. I think it's a portrait of Ava Gardner. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> so how you been doing, Fred, with all the COVID-19 and all that stuff? It's been really hard, man. We were uh, we just got back from Jamaica, which was a whole, like, you know, stress. Uh, we were down in Florida for six shows before we went to Jamaica, and we had to get, you know, wow. very, very, very careful. We were living in a bubble where we have a hotel room, <laughs> we have a bus, we have a backstage dressing room and the stage, and those are the places we are allowed to be. We can't <laughs> talk to any of the fans or see any of the fans. Oh, man. Uh, we just have to go straight from the bus to the stage and straight from the stage to the bus and bu bus to the hotel room and using Uber Eats and uh, takeout and having so stuff delivered. It's been really stressful. And then having to take a test right before we got to go to Jamaica. We managed oh, to all pass that and got into Jamaica. And then you have to take a test to get out of Jamaica to back the United States, which we did. So it was very stressful, man. It was like, so you know, <laughs> any kind of any any person that comes down positive is going to throw the whole tour off and you lose <laughs> all kinds of money and you have to cancel shows. And so it's very stressful trying to oh, get through it. So he's down I think Jamaica. things are going to be a little calmer when we start doing the Waiting for Columbus tour in March now. Oh, but we're just about that's... to get on a boat on a cruise, the Legends of Rock cruise with sticks no and a whole way. bunch of other that's people awesome. and that's going to be a whole <laughs> drama too so you know it's just okay. like uh trying to not get ill and play concerts at the same time it's very hard it's not like it used to be at all so you've been in the so when does that go ahead when does that cruise set sail that starts in a week on the 13th 14th Night. Night. out of fort lauderdale now you've been in rock and roll forever. Now, how did how did you actually form to get into Little Feet? Because you know you was in Little Feet since what 1988. So how yes. did that happen? Well, I knew Lowell George uh, way before Little Feet uh, ever started. I was uh, I was working in Hawaii as a musician as a musical director for an outfit of Filipino entertainers called the Highbrows. <laughs> and we're playing in Honolulu at a club and Jimmy Webb, the songwriter who wrote the, you know, uh, up, up and away in my beautiful balloon. And by the time I get yeah. to Phoenix, Galveston, hundreds of hits. He came in to, and this was 1973, uh, let's see, 79, I guess, something like that. Anyway, he came in and got me, and brought me to Los Angeles. 1969, excuse there you me. Go. <laughs> 1969. <laughs> so anyway, I went to LA to work with Jimmy Webb and and my wife Patricia lived next door to Lowell George, who at that time was oh, wow. uh, uh, was uh, studying sitar at Ravi Shankar's uh, school. And uh, he came over to Jimmy's house, all dressed in white with a sitar and was sitting in the living room playing sitar. And I went down and said, hey, man, you, you know, we could we could play some psychedelic jam music with that sitar. And, man, you know, we'll have a good time. And he went, oh, no, I only play sacred Indian music. And then one week later, he was in the Standells doing, you know, black, dirty water or whatever. You know? So that's where we got into it. So we knew Lowell before he got, got the idea of putting Little Feet together. And then we were there, like, uh, we gave Little Feet their first job. Jimmy Webb had a birthday party and gave Little Feet his first job. They were playing in a strip bar, a gentleman's club. Well, there you go. You don't get <laughs> any time. bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, after Law, I was on the road with Lowell when he died, and then after that, uh, Billy Payne and I were with Bob Seeger, and he told me he was putting – little feet back together again and would i like to join the band and i said wow. you bet and that's how it all happened because little feet a lot of people don't realize it little feet was uh, they had a problem was that they was overshadowing the the groups they was opening for and a lot of groups didn't even want to want you guys opening for them because people would boom off like the doobie brothers right that was a famous <laughs> uh, warner brothers tour where they yep. played the rainbow in london and uh 
everybody wanted to just tear more little feet and the doobie brothers <laughs> were uh had to come on afterwards and they just kind of you know who are all good friends of ours billy's been Payne has been playing with the doobie brothers up until recently so uh yeah they're all good buddies of ours as everybody <laughs> on that tour was and that was before i was in the band but yeah it was like a major deal and we've had lots of you know we don't get a lot of opening slot uh <laughs> invites because of that very reason people don't like us and when we do sam clayton always just revels in it and goes oh i love opening for people because we're going to blow them away <laughs> you know, i don't think music should be competition but yes y'all you know, the band is what it is and it's never been as you know it's as good as it can be right now with so our new got, guys scott sherrard and tony leone on guitar played, drums respectfully since you played with all these people okay when was it when you said, holy crap, I'm a, I'm a rock and roll star. When did you realize that you actually were? <laughs> well, I was, uh, it, when you're a studio musician and you're playing with all these different people, you don't, you know, you don't think of yourself as part of the action. You're just like a hired gun. So I never really thought about it, you know, and then with little feet, we never really think of ourselves as we think of ourselves as musicians and not rock stars, but we have a, a lady who takes care of us as if we were rock stars on the road. So we started going, gee, maybe we are rock stars because you are rock these people stars. treat us like we are. So, hey, let's go for it. But so we're how, really just now, a bunch all of these hippie people, musicians. These people that you opened up for all these years, do you still you know, keep in contact with any of these guys? But yeah, like I said, the Doobie Brothers are, are good friends. And, uh, well, like, uh, you know, I can't think of a lot of other people that we really keep in contact with. We don't really keep in contact with anybody. <laughs> you don't keep in contact with Barbara Streisand? You did some work no, with Barbara Streisand. No, no. I just got to go. Uh, I just had the honor of playing on a bunch of her records, Evergreen and different things, you know. That's amazing. And she doesn't and come we're to actually, for Christmas? What's that? She doesn't come to your house for Christmas and things? No, no. She's like oh, been like uh, ignoring our invites for years here. <laughs> <laughs> the Fred's turned into a stalker. He just waits outside of her <laughs> bedroom window. Now, now, when you got into the band, Little Feet, you guys started touring. What was the, the number of tours you guys were doing a year at your at the highest of your level? We were going out like at one point for almost like six months back in nineteen. You know, uh, uh, whenever we started this back in eighty eight, when we had Let It Roll out, we were touring all the time. Wow. Now we don't really do more than three weeks at a time, but there was a time when we did. I know I remember doing three months at a time, and that was really way too much. Wow. Did you went back then? Was it really the sex, drugs, and rock and roll for you guys? No, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> People that used to bring us drugs bring us Tupperware full of cookies now. Sweet. We get lots of baked goods. There you go. Here's we get cakes and cookies and stuff like that. <laughs> right now, we're not getting anything because of the COVID thing. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're going to send you some a care package in the mail. Okay. <laughs> so now, we're hearing some rumors. Roy, do you want to tell Fred the rumors that are kind of going around the, the circuit right now? Yeah, because we've been hearing that the, you go change your genre uh, to a more of a gangster rap kind of thing. Is that true? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we haven't got anybody that can rap yet. We're going to try to try to teach Sam, but he's uh, sticking to the blues pretty much. Fine. Well, we thought you had your street name all picked out and everything. No, man. It's just uh, sticking Master with the feet, Fred. man. <laughs> so, you know, well, so you've been with everybody from Rod Stewart to Bed Midler to Lionel Richie. I mean, you've just been with everybody, Bob Seger. If you could perform with one person, what would be your greatest dream of performing with a, a big act? Who would who would that Besides be? Besides Little Feet, Little Feet is like uh, I can't think you of anybody already else I want, ever ever want to play with. We were just talking the other day, and I said if I wasn't playing with Little Feet, I would just yeah, I'd be done with it. But I'm 76, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> but uh, no, I, you know, I, uh, there's nobody that uh, has the kind of adventuresome that I get to do what I get to do other than little feet anybody else would be less than unless That's i was awesome. the guy you know if i was the you know the headliner guy all by myself that'd be probably i would have more opportunities to do whatever i wanted to do but otherwise 
I would just be a hired gun if I was in the Rolling Stones, say. I'd be a guitar player, but in Little Feet, you know, I get to do all kinds of stuff. So Little Feet's my dream <laughs> gig. So you play almost hey, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. mandolin, uh, you play the trumpet, you play the guitars, you do the vocals. Holy crap, you do just about everything. I try to get as much in there as I can, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be one of those one-man bands that has the drum, you know, stuck. Yeah, in right. Head. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you can do it. Now, you know, well, it was very weird. I grew up, you know, in Little Rock, and uh, I played trumpet in the band, and I went to college as a trumpet major, and I, so I played classical music on trumpet and marching bands and stuff like that. I played guitar in rock and roll bands, and I played drums in jazz bands. And I played, uh, had jazz trios that would go out and play the Jacksonville Air Base, play Officers Club oh, gigs. And then I was playing at the old Cimarron Club and the old Beverly Gardens with uh, my rock bands and playing with Miles Hockersmith and uh, Jimmy Ford out there at Beverly Gardens. And my rock friends never knew any of my jazz friends, and none of them knew I played the trumpet until I was working in Oklahoma City. <laughs> and a band playing drums and the leader of the band came over to my house and saw the guitar and said, what's, what's the, what's that? And I said, that's, you know, I play guitar. And he was like, Whoa, wait a minute, dude, you're going to come out and play guitar. And I'm going to play the drums. You're going to play the shadow of your smile on the trumpet. And he's the guy that sort of brought it all in and said, okay, we're going to have you do all those things on one, one show, one band, because before I was just like totally had the different genres, totally separate. For some reason, oh, I mean, not on purpose, but that's just the way it worked out. As a friend of mine calls the jazz guys are my dotted eight and sixteenth friends, and my rock guys are my straight eight friends. So now, that's what he said. My dotted eight and sixteenth friends didn't know about my straight eight friends. So you might as well tell everybody, right. since you're from Arkansas, what high school did you go to? Hall High School. Well, Woohoo! Yeah. All right. Now, do you still have a house here in Arkansas anywhere? Yeah, I have a house in Eureka Springs, a beautiful Victor. I have two houses, actually, two Victorians on this beautiful lot in Eureka oh, Springs in the historic Eureka. district. I love it to death. Are they haunted? I haven't been there in a couple of years because of all this nonsense. Now, since you're up in uh, Eureka Springs, is your and your house is haunted? Every house in Eureka Springs is haunted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My daughter says she wakes up at 3 o'clock. I mean, I've never noticed anything at all. But my daughter swears that every night at three o'clock in the morning, she wakes up and there's something happening in that house. So whatever. You go, honey, that's a burglar. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a burglar. <laughs> but nothing seems oh. to be missing. So well, man, you know, she, like she wakes up and says the television set is on or, or the radio is on or something, you know. All right. Told you guys. I visit Fred's house. <laughs> no ghosts for me. <laughs> what's on the horizon for you and little feet what's that on the horizon yes sir yeah we're getting ready to start this uh reenactment of uh, waiting for columbus the album waiting for columbus we're going to perform it in its entirety and Man, uh we're starting in march march the second i think is when we leave on that and we're going to pretty much do that all this year now, let me and do you already have dates and locations where you're going to be set up? Yeah, yeah. There's a, if you go to the Little Feet website, that you know they're already booked into the fall now. Awesome. Now it's going to be fun. Now, when we uh, talk with uh, you know uh, Joe Walsh, he said that he uh, you know he you know when they went to hotel rooms when they was on tour, they trashed the hotel rooms. They threw TVs out the window. Did you do that, Fred? When you was on no, the we never did anything like that because they always charge you money for it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine Joe Walsh throwing a TV out this window either. Man. He's a regular old guy, Joe. He'll That's say, awesome. excuse me, I've got to go be a rock star. For you know, He's just a normal <laughs> dude, man. I cannot imagine him throwing anything out of a window. <laughs> was it pretty cool? I mean, when you was playing with all these people, were you ever awestruck? Oh, yeah. When I played with Bob Dylan, every night I would stand there and go, I can't believe I'm standing next to Bob Dylan, you know, for an hour and a half or whatever, you know. And, and Bob Dylan was saying, I can't believe I'm standing next to Fred Tackett. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> he was always very nice to me. Very nice. For the three years I was with him, we had a good time. 
That must I mean, be I'm excited about to hear all the stuff you got coming on, waiting for Columbus starting in March. You got your cruise coming. Uh, we need to get you, you know, busy doing something. It's, you got too yeah, much free right. time. Well, I got it. We got to get us a, a show in Arkansas again. Exactly. Yeah. We haven't been to Little Rock in a while. I'm going to call my friend Chip Murphy up and see if he can get us a gig there, man. You always oh, absolutely. Can. <laughs> we can go out and eat some barbecue. Huh? We can go out and eat some barbecue. You'll, you'll pay yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, I mean, you'll pay for it, there, Fred, uh, but we'll go out and eat some barbecue. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, man, thank you so much for taking the time. One of my oh, favorite. Oh, It's been oh. my pleasure. And then, so uh, we'll definitely let everybody know what's coming up and who knows, we might see on a cruise ship or we might be just stalking around your house out in Eureka Springs, but I'm sure we'll Come see on. somewhere. Just tell us that's not a ghost, that's just us. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, come on up, man. Come on up and visit us. And let people know so, how they can get in touch with you if they need to. They say like your website and all that stuff. For well, littlefeet.net is like one of the best places to go to check everything out. Outstanding. I think someone tried to buy, someone bought littlefeet.org and tried to sell it to us. So we just said, screw you and went with littlefeet.net. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Well, Fred, man, be safe. Like I said, don't get the COVID. You know, stay as healthy as you can and be careful on that cruise. And hopefully, we're we'll trying. See you in the near yes, future. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be hiding in my room on the cruise. <laughs> well, well, we'll Fred, send you a uh, we'll get you some cookies or brownies or something. So, so all right, so that you don't Sounds go home. like a plan to me. And, okay, Fred, <laughs> we're just going to say, let it roll, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, so my friend. Be friend. safe. And we'll see you here in the near future, my friend. You bet your boots. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Sounds take good. care, Fred. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go. Fred Tackett. Fred Tackett, man. I mean, just think of the people that he's been with. Uh, Thelma Houston, Kenny Logan, Boz Skaggs, Tanya Tucker, Clint Black, Janice Eon, Arlo Guthrie, Bob Seeger, Linda Ronson, Lionel Richie. And, you know, she's even been with Cher and Greg Allman. I mean, holy <laughs> crap. All at the same time. It's All at the same time. But anyway, this is just one of the many uh, uh, interviews that we do on www.arkansashowcaseradio.com show. And uh, I, I, we got Black Sabbath, I think, is the next one coming up. So that'll be pretty there cool. So stay tuned. And like I said, keep in touch. And we'll tell you all the cool people that we get to chat with. So right around the corner. Okay. And that's it for us. And you guys take care. Remember, www.arkansasshowcaseradio.com. And uh, that was Fred Tackett from Little Feet. And, uh, <laughs> it looks just like that. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Anyway, stay tuned, and we'll get this up, and you'll be seeing it here shortly. So that's it. Bye-bye.